What's going on, everyone? Welcome to another Screen Sanctum Reaction. Of course, I'm Steve, and it is Rick and Morty Day, Season 4, Episode 6, Never Ricking Morty. Last week, Morty, all you had to do was stay in the car, but you didn't. You got bit by an outer space galactic snake, almost died, and trouble ensued. So here we are again. Before I get into this week's episode, if you want to see this full uncut reaction and all my other uncut reactions, head over to my Patreon. Got a few good videos over there. You can check it out. Well, let's go. Never Ricking Morty now. Space train. Tickets, please. <laughs> There's only one creature worth killing. Mm. The man in the white coat. <gasps> May as well take turns exchanging stories. Damn, they're all trying to kill Rick. It's a very lower me into acid attitude. Here he is. You? Oh, God. I like when it turns into a first person shooter. Oh, my God, just to get more arms. <laughs> I start crying or something. That's why he has to die. I don't know. I feel like why are you going Rick probably Rick tells the true story. I don't know who that is. I don't accept your weird leap. Here's why I'm going to kill Rick Sanchez. You guys have clam lady? Dissolve to a clam-shaped sun. That's a story about how Rick Sanchez saves space Christmas. <laughs> with the Rick Sanchez obsession? <laughs> So this guy is like the, the only person who doesn't know him yet. With my Christmas Rick tale. I don't know how to thank you, Goomby. No need. You just <laughs> go in there and have Goombie. a nice time. I will. Thanks. Uh, oh, it's okay. I, I don't have to. Sorry if that was... No, uh, <laughs> I can ask. No, no, no. I don't want to be a burden. Aww. Goomby's <laughs> chilly. <laughs> Tell your Christmas Rick story. Step the hell back. Oh. Back. Don't blow Goombie's brains out. First thing I remember is... Tickets, please. <laughs> he came out of the bushes. Oh, you don't have to pretend you didn't date him. Damn, we every car has a different... We get it. Low point in your <laughs> oh, life. God. The train is obviously amplifying and linking unrelated narrative fields. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Morning. <laughs> I didn't know it was you. Oh my you god. Me. Didn't you create the disguises? When I... <laughs> it's called being talented. Why can't we find the engine? I definitely didn't think this is what was going to happen. Device. Literally. Okay, tickets please, guy. Stop the anthology. If we wanted one-offs, we'd do interdimensional cable, not some uptight <laughs> overwritten. Oh no. So many tickets at this point. Oh my Jesus, god. The tickets please guy is cut. <laughs> I'll kick you. I'll, I'll kick your shin, bro. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, shit. Hold on to something. Keep your head inside. Oh, it's the video game again? Here with your sister, Josh. Just because it's your birthday doesn't mean you can be an asshole. Wasn't that from season one? This isn't real life, Dad? Honey. Oh my God. What the God. hell is going on? I need tickets. What the hell? Damn! Is that the tickets, please, guy? Well, just the stub. Too so just the so stub. So <laughs> That's a good one. Oh. Let's take a look at what they should have done. Train cops uh. in the air. Drop the tank. Drop, Drop it. it. Drop the tank. That didn't actually happen. That's what you think. Hey, how'd you what get What the here? hell? Yeah, like, we're the ones that popped up out of nowhere. Fuck these guys. <laughs> what is going on? My simple hey, mind can't grasp yeah, it. it's a real free-for-all. This is just a structural guide. We're obviously going to impart our own style. Like a oh, poor city. guy. Shut up, Morty. You're 14. Ugh. I'll be the judge of when we get too meta. Holy <laughs> shit. Why is he still breathing? He's suspended in disbelief. Jeez, what a horrible way to die. You don't know the half of it. Uh, oh, 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 <laughs> Not quite a bird. Bird person, a person. finally. Maybe what matters is to Oh my god, a musical. And so 
child of air and land with wings and you haven't seen burb person in a long time you guys think there's something weird about this train we've been here a really long time and nobody's taking our tickets <laughs> Oh, oh my god, that's Galaxy nasty. Scientists continue to ponder the horrific figure known to children as Bloody Blood Man. We believe we're keeping him alive by redirecting our suppressed sexual energies. Oh okay. god. You're staying a virgin just to keep the universe existing? So attractive. It is? Okay, look, let's just do it once. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh lord. To find a way to disrupt it. Okay, Morty. Tell Looks like Doctor Strange rings. Uh, what do? Stop thinking and do it. Uh, <laughs> I hello. I want your cookies. I'm hungry. I want your cookies. What the Scorpions. Fuck? Relax. Your story was supposed to be awful and stupid. I just failed to predict how well that would mesh with the theme. Oh God. Why is lesbian part of her job title? Oh, now you're progressive. <laughs> what is the test? You have to tell. Damn. Morty. Uh, Morty. Morty so is not good in outer space. Mom, can I try your tea? Yes. Summer. Yes. Try my tea. <laughs> I have one too. Mine is heavy today. Mine is never light. I love you ever <laughs> since you were mailed to me. <laughs> Fight them with your heavy special time. You do it too. Oh no. Okay. Oh, <laughs> good lord. I'm that Supreme Court lady, and you fucking did it. We did it. <laughs> what is going on? Story Lord, I should have known you were behind this, and I did. Who is this guy? Space Frazier. Let's get this fight over with what? Nerd. I've got shit to do. You of all people know, Rick, there can be no destination. Regularly teleport. Why does it sound oh, like Jerry a little bit? No rules for you, spiraling through the multiverse. <laughs> Why is everyone jacked? Oh, is this a double beat? Oh well. God damn. Jeez, do we have to fight him? I don't want to. All right, he ain't hearing that. Oh God. <gasps> hey, get back in your egg. What the hell? Don't worry, Morty. Nothing out there is canon. <laughs> I forget the highest truth of all. You're getting your ass kicked on a train. I'm confused. I still have memories of a completely different life. I, mm. I, I, I was a scientist. Fart. <laughs> developed There's a neon travel. sign that says fart. I, I had a daughter. You've helped people. I've hurt more. Come oh, on, what? Uh, I'm Morty Smith from the, the, the 241st. Oh, God. You aren't real. <laughs> You're right. I should do more freeform stuff. In you go. What in the hell, dude? Rick, what's he doing? He's trying to tap into us, Morty. Oh, oh no. This guy's back. I'm very much alive. What the hell is that kid? Oh, his puppy. How did you find us? All right. Don't blame others for your bad decisions. Hopefully that's not the last we see of that. That was a huge plot. Evil Morty. There's always someone what? there for us. Who? My best friend and personal savior, Jesus Christ. Oh, God. Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. Thank you for thank sending you for your sending only begotten. I am God. so Where confused. No. What you. are you doing? Make, Make me a shining city on a hill no. for you. No. Make me born again. <laughs> what the we pray. is going on? Crossy, Bible Saurus, you made it. We never missed this for anything. Crossy. You said it, Mr. Celery. Awful. I beg your pardon. What the hell? Oh, my lord, my god. No, Let's get the no, fuck out of here. Mr. Poopy Butthole looked like the Emperor. This was a little confusing, but I guess it brought us a lot confusing. Together, you know? Tested our demons. What do you say we bring this train into the station? 
Whoa. It's not real. Oh, shit. You did the most important thing. You, you bought something. What? <laughs> you bought something. That's money. the most important God, thing. I love money so much. And I'm so proud of you. Hmm. I only wish you could have bought more. I... Do you need to go to the hospital? I love you. I don't know what the hell is going on. Give, give me, give grandpa a kiss. Lips what? I love you. You're my little buddy. Okay. <laughs> little buddy. Let's watch some interdimensional cable. Yeah, that's what the episode should have been. Do what I've always done. What? I want to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Tired of the same boring adventures with your dog shit Morty? Yeah. Oh, jeez. Then get ready for the Citadel of Rick's story train. Story. Oh, goodness. He's and of course, what story Good would Lord. be complete without the engineer of the greatest story ever told? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Puppets of Fate. The story train available now on the Citadel of Ricks. Buy it ironically. You Buy it sincerely. You gotta be kidding me. Train.com. On the internet. It's there. <laughs> I'll have to check that out. We want you to buy the train. So, this episode was out of control. Did not understand what the hell was going on one bit. I felt like it was just one of those one-offs that they do. And it kind of was until I looked at the dates of when the episodes came out. So the last episode that I watched, Rattlestar Ricklantica, <laughs> came out December 15th, 2019. This episode came out May 3rd, 2020. So that is January, March, five months which was peak COVID, basically. So now I understand what the hell this was all about. It was basically the episode was about not being able to do anything because of a virus, which he said, but maybe also because of real world COVID, they didn't have the writers able to all go into one workspace and work on the rest of the season. I'm assuming that episode seven, eight, nine, and 10 might be a little bit different than the rest of like season one to episode five of season four. But you all could tell me in the comments below. This one was just a wild ass episode. When there are episodes like this, there's really not much to say at the end or to evaluate. It was just, it was funny, but it was just wild and so weird. All of that just to get to the end to kind of tell us like <laughs> there's a virus out there and all we could do at home is basically shop. So it was interesting. I was kind of disappointed in that. That was this was the next episode where we got to see Bird Person because that is such a huge plot point, or they made it be at the end of season two, and we still haven't seen him again. Like in regards to what is actually going on. I mean, I understand that this is supposed to be a meta episode, and they threw in pretty much everyone was here. Like Mister Poopy Butthole was in the end of the episode too, and stuff like that, but. I guess it, it really just was just a silly one-off episode that maybe they had to throw together because of, you know, the pandemic that was going on. And that's really all I could think right now. We didn't get Jerry in this episode, uh, from what I remember. It was just like all over the place. I guess it was kind of interesting that everything that was happening was taking place uh, inside the toy train. I didn't really understand the parts where like they were fighting in the train and then like popping out to the real world and then getting pulled back in. I didn't understand that too much, but maybe it's something that doesn't need to be understand. Uh, I didn't get the part where the guy getting ripped in half in real life means that he gets ripped in half in the real world. But again, that might not even really be the real world. I'm just really confused by this episode. And that's not uncommon because some things just confuse me. Um, so if you get this far, feel free to comment below like what exactly I'm missing. If this episode was deeper than just there was a pandemic and this is what we came up with, um, you know, with the time allotted and stuff like that. Or if there was more, I know we saw Evil Morty at the end and it would be cool because he did say, do you want to see how your story ends? And then they showed that scene of Evil Morty with all the Ricks and stuff. It will be kind of funny if at the end of the series that literally is the end of their story and they bring that that um that section back and we see them there again um i'm guessing rick and morty will win because rick and morty always wins but you never know what rick and morty the show maybe evil morty will win at the end i don't know 
And seeing as I haven't got to season five, six or seven yet, I'm not even sure if they're done with the evil Morty plot or if that is really like a plot that will end the series. So again, I'm just talking without having even seen the last three seasons of the show. Yeah, I guess let me know in the comments below if this is how the rest of kind of the pandemic episodes are going to be. If they're not going to be like adventure episodes anymore, I really, really doubt that. Because like after this one, the next episode, they're all in order now. And I really didn't even check like seasons one, two, three, if they did a mid-season break in all of them or if it just happened in season four, the pandemic season. Um, because like I said, it is about six months between episode um, five and six. So again, maybe that is what was what was happening, but I can't be uh, for certain. Only you guys could tell me that. Huge Rick and Morty fans. Yeah, I feel like the end of this episode, my kind of review, uh, like I'm definitely not on a straight path right now because I, like I said, I, I'm a little bit confused and I don't really know what I'm talking about, but there are like things going on in my head that I want to say. I don't know if I'm saying it correctly, but I'll end it here because I, I definitely know I'm starting to ramble and I don't want to overthink an episode that might not even need to be over thought. So let me know in the comments below what was going on and I'll see you all on the next video. Peace guys.